Hi guys, welcome to the tutorial. In this video, we are going to explore about how to read a data using the Java program and how to write a data using the Java program. And also, we are going to explore about what are the file operations we can perform using the Java program. Okay, first, we are going to read and write data with the different formats. So, there are around 5 formats you can read and write data. So first we are, we are going to see program using the byte streams. Using the byte stream you will read data as read and write data as a byte. Byte means zeros and ones. So next we will see a program for reading and writing character by character. Next we will see how to buffer the, read, buffer the data and how to read and write the buffer data. Next we are going to see the program for uh, reading the data as a primitive data types like int, float, double and char. And next we will see a program to how to read and write objects. We will explore all these formats and we will execute the program and see the output. So this is the class I have created for uh, reading a data as a byte. So uh, file input stream and file output stream classes are used for reading the data as byte. So you know byte is like zeros and ones. Uh, here you are, we are going to read that bytes from a file by a file and also we are going to write the same uh, data into the another file. Okay for uh, reading the data uh, file input stream is used in input stream class is used and for writing the data file output stream class is used. So uh, first I have created an object for these two classes then um, inside the try block I am going to perform this operation. So this uh, file classes will throw IO exception. So I have thrown the IO exception and also this uh, line will throw uh, file not found exception, exception because here we are saying the input file path. So currently I have given the input type input file in here inside my uh, same directory so I just say the file name alone if you are uh, having the file in a different directory I mean different location uh, you should share the path also here you should give the path so this line will throws uh, file not found exception so I'm catching the file not except file not found exception here so uh, file out is, is to write the data so here I should give the output file which has to be uh, created and where we have to perform the uh, write operations. On this file we are going to write our data. The read method is used for reading the data as a byte. Uh, so using this uh, file input stream object I am calling this read method. So this read method returns minus 1 when it reaches the end of file. So I'm putting this in a while loop condition. So when it reaches the end of the line, uh, it will return minus one. So if if uh, read method when read method writes minus one, I have to come out of the while loop. So till that condition, I have to write each byte into the uh, this object, and this will write the data into the out out one dot txt. And here I'm catching the general exception. And inside the finally block, I am I'm closing both the input and output streams. Okay, we will execute this program and we will see the output. So here I have input.txt file. So if you want, we can change the file name and we will create a new file and we will explore the So I have executed the program. The program has been executed. We will see, we will refresh the folder structure and we will see the output file. See output.txt has been created. So in the input I had the data 10 this has been read by the program and also write into the out1 out2.txt. If you want to give any other data just I am typing some data we will execute the program again and we will see the output. See what I have typed has been written here.
In the previous example, we have seen how to read a data as a byte. So in this example, we are going to read data as a character. So for reading the direct data as a care, uh, this file reader and file writer classes are useful. So using this file reader and file writer, um, we can write a program to read each character by character and each time the request will be sent to the OS and uh, each character will be read and it will be written to the output file. So I have created an object for this file reader and file writer class and inside the try block I have created the uh, input object and inside the, for input object I am going to pass my input uh, file as a file name or file path and for output object I have to pass this output file name or file path. So um, here I have the integer c. So uh, I have a, in the file reader we have a read method using the read method we can read the character so uh, if the end of the file reaches it will this read method will return minus one so uh, uh, here we have a while loop so this uh, loop has to be executed till re it, it reaches the end of the file uh, for each time when it reads a character it will be written to the uh, output file in the finally block I am closing the input and output stream okay let us execute this program and we will see the output so this is my input file this is the output file so if you want to change the file name we can change here the output file will be created and uh, our data will be written there so here i have created demo.txt out demo so i just run the program the program has been compiled and executed we will ex refresh the project folder. Our, our output file is outdemo.txt. See, outdemo.txt has been uh, created and it has been, uh, uh, the, the data has been written here. So the input, we have the same data. I have, create, I have created a demo program for uh, buffering. So buffer reader, buffer writer classes are used to uh, buffering. So these two classes has to be wrapped with the uh, file reader and file writer. So, uh, so as usual, I have created an object for the buffer reader and buffer writer. And inside the try block, I have created object input and output. And uh, inside the buffer reader, you have to pass the file reader object. In, inside the file reader, you can pass the file name or file path. And likewise, you have to pass inside the buffer writer, you have to wrap the file writer class. And for file writer, you have to uh, uh, pass the file path. So I have the uh, int c. So uh, using the read method, I can read the uh, data, read and buffer the data. And this will uh, return a minus one when it reaches the end of the file. So I am reading the data and writing into the uh, uh, output file. So inside the finally block, I am closing both the input and output uh, streams. So this buffer reader and buffer writer classes are used for, for buffering the data and this can be wrapped with the file reader and file writer classes. So we have seen how to read a data using a byte format, how to read a data in the character format and how to have the buffer data and now we will see how to have a uh, uh, how to read the data as a primitive type. So this is a class I have created for reading the data as a primitive type. Data input stream, data output stream or uh, classes are useful for reading data as primitive type. Primitive type like int, uh, care, double, float, uh, you can read data as in these format. So first we have to create a file object. So uh, file, uh, this is java.io.file class. So we have created object for the file class. Uh, so th this is where we have to pass the file path. So here I have the same file in the same directory. So read.bin. So, um, so if you have a uh, file in any other directory, you have to mention the path. So here I have created object for a file output stream and data output stream and uh, uh, assigning both as a null. So inside the try block, I have created a uh, object for the file output stream fos object so i'm passing this uh, file object and likewise i have passed the data output stream 
likewise i have created data output stream object so um, for this i have to pass the uh, data output stream constructor and inside that i have to pass the uh, file output stream object so using this object dos i have the right int uh, to write the write int method to write the uh, integer value write double to write the double value and write char to write the character value so using this i am writing uh, this 50244 and 400.253 and also i am going to write this d character so this is a catch block to catch the io exception and inside the finally block i am closing all the streams and i have created the another section to read the operation uh, generally the data input stream and data output stream will be used together so here i have uh, written this integer and uh, double values as a primitive value and in this section i am going to read this data as a primitive value so like for reading i have created a file input stream file data input stream object and uh, for input or uh, stream object i am creating this file input stream and passing the file and likewise for data input stream object i am passing this file input uh, stream object and um, in the system uh, here i am printing what are the data i have re read you from the file and i am catching this io exception and in the finally block i am closing uh, all the input stream and output stream if it is not null this is the catch block for uh, catching the general exception so now I'll execute the program and we will see the output. See what are the values we have passed that has been uh, written in the file and the same has been read from the uh, program and the set that the same has been printed here. The, this, this, this system dot out that will print and statement has been executed here. If you see the program, if you want to change uh, file name and you have to create a new file also, you can create uh, like read demo. I just create a read demo dot bin. Also, you can give any extension. Now I'll execute the program. See, I'll F A refresh the pro project folder and we will see the output. See, read demo dot bin has been created and this will be in machine readable format. Yeah, this data will be in machine readable format. So using the program, we can read the data and we have printed here. Next, we will see how to read an object and how to store that object into a file. So, so we have seen a program to, uh, so till now we have seen a program to read a data as a byte and to read a data as a char and also to read a data as a uh, primitive type character, primitive type data. So in this program, we are going to see how to read a data, how to read an object and how to write an object in a file. So for reading an object, first we have created an object class and inside the object class, we should set some uh, values. So here for that, I have created an object demo class. So in this class, I have a two variables, age and name. Uh, for this variables, I have a uh, getter and setter methods. So here first I have created an object for that class and inside the object, using that object, I have uh, set the value for the age and name. So here I have set age as a 32, name as a Bob. So I have created an object and I have uh, saved some values inside the object. So reading object and writing object, we have uh, two classes which are the object input stream and object output stream. So I have created uh, inside the try block, I have created object for uh, object input output stream and file output stream. In, in the file output stream, I have to pass the file path and in the object output stream, I have to pass the file output stream object. So using this uh, object, we can write uh, object uh, write object is the method which is used to write the object as a write object is a method which is used to uh, re write the object so and again I'm closing the stream and inside the catch block 
I'm catching the I word section. So this is a section for uh, reading the object. For reading the object, we should have the object input stream class object and the file input stream class object. And uh, uh, here I'm passing the um, file path uh, for uh, this is a file input stream object. And for object input stream object, I have to pass this file input stream object. And while reading this, after reading this object, uh, we have to cast that to the this class. So first, uh, our read object is a method which is used to read the object. And after reading the object, you have to do the type casting to uh, to this class. So this is a class we have created for object. So we have to do the type casting. And uh, here I am printing the object values. And in the catch block, uh, here we are catching the file not found exception. And in this catch block, we are uh, catching the IO exception. So here we are catching the general exception. Now we will run the program and we will see the output. See, I have passed the Bob value and uh, I have passed age as 32 that has been printed here. So here first I am passing printing the name and next I am printing the age. If you have changed the age to 29 and if you are changing the name to Rob, Rob, changing the name to Rob and also if you want to change the file T demo file name also, also if you want to change the file name also we can change and we will save the program. Now we will execute. Here I don't have any file called uh, T demo dot temp. See. I just have one file t.temp. We will execute the program and we will see the output. Refresh the project folder. See, t.demo.temp.h has been created and this is uh, machine readable. And uh, but here uh, we are reading from this this file only so it is printing only the bob and 32 T, we are reading the object from the t.temp only if we want to change the file name if you want to read from t demo and we can read now i'll uh, write the i'll execute the program see now rob and 29 has been printed here this has this which we have paused here as the agent name in this tutorial you have learned about how to read a data using the java program and various formats of reading and writing data using the byte format char format uh, or primary data format and also we have seen how to read object and write object so thank you for watching the tutorial have a great day